Morning, everyone. It's an honor to be speaking again at IMS Asia Pacific. And thank you to Ben, the IMS team, and equally to all our members for supporting our association so passionately. The Association for Electronic Music is the global trade body representing the entire community of electronic music from labels to live, managers to media, and tech to talent. Our role is to ensure a bright and sustainable future for everyone within our rich and diverse scene. A year ago, as you saw earlier in the clips, Sandy Montero of Universal Asia closed his presentation with the words, if the kids keep dying, the Asian scene will be closed down. Those words are no longer limited to Asia and are as important now as they were a year ago, particularly in light of Malaysia, where our events are almost entirely banned. Over the last few years, electronic music has been at the eye of a perfect storm. And even in the last few weeks, we've again witnessed tragedy in Australia. So as our genre has enjoyed enormous commercial success, so a new audience, dare I say even a pop audience, has attended ever larger events and festivals in their millions. And at these events, the challenges facing all of society in nearly every country are played out. An event with tens of thousands of people attending will be a mirror to the society of the country it's held in. If drink and drugs are an issue in that country, then drink and drugs will be an issue at that event. If violence is an issue in that society, then violence is an issue at that event. But these issues <clears throat> are not the fault of our music, and we didn't create the problem, but we can be unified in the solutions. Right now, drugs and alcohol are a menace throughout society, throughout the world, and every mass gathering, whatever the musical content. In America, alcohol and drug-related incidents are leading to multiple hospital transports at country and music events, and whilst NFL games and heavy metal festivals are reporting rises in theft, violence, and sexual crimes. And very often, electronic music events only have a handful of hospital transports, but as we all know, we do sadly see tragic deaths. The truth is that nearly every death is preventable, and nearly every hospital transport is equally preventable. Education and harm reduction standards have to raise to a new level everywhere, every time. But alcohol and drug-related incidents are not the only force in the storm that we face. Our fans, our artists, and our employees need the highest standards of production safety, be it safe pyrotechnics, stage design, or ensuring that fire retardant products are used in every venue. And of course, sadly, we now have to face up to the new challenge of ensuring events are secure against terrorism without reducing freedom and enjoyment. Our millions of fans and thousands of employees need to be safe, which is why AFEM has been working hard to join up the industry and other global lobbying partners to tackle the problems through a coalition of like-minded organizations. Under the umbrella campaign, Safe in Sound, we have begun the broad and sizable task of defining a voluntary code of conduct for our members to demonstrate high standards in three areas, production safety, security, and harm reduction. We are already active in France to respond to the need for greater security, and in North America, we committed significant time to the current LA County Task Force review to help ensure that electronic music events are not banned. The latter involved the delicate task of working with law enforcement, legislators, medical experts, and event organizers. And this is what we will do throughout the world, territory by territory, to influence drug policy and harm reduction practices. As important to changing what we do is what others report about what happens. And that is why we must begin to help global media report from events supportively so that kids don't feel fearful of seeking help and so that we move to electronic music events being the pioneers of positive change that benefits all society, all events, and all genres of music. Away from the strategy, and on a very personal note, this is already a life-changing journey for me. As a parent of two young girls, I now realize the complexity and the enormity of helping them navigate 
through the modern world of illegal and legal highs, of peer pressure, of the media and the law. And I've had many a revelation. Last month at the Reform Conference in Washington, I was honored to meet two amazing women. Dee Dee Goldsmith, who whilst on stage with me described the loss of her 19-year-old daughter Shelley to heat stroke from MDMA consumption, and how she knew that what her daughter would have wanted was for her to challenge the law that restricted the information her daughter would have needed to survive. Nearly every person in the 200 strong audience was in tears within minutes of Dee Dee sharing her story, and Dee Dee's support for our, our campaign is a responsibility I do not take lightly. I also met Anne-Marie Fernbeck, whose 15-year-old daughter, Martha, suffered from a heart attack in the UK after consuming a half gram of 90% pure MDMA. Anne-Marie has a simple view. Her daughter's death was avoidable, and the law and ignorance killed her. And her simple message is Martha wanted to get high. She didn't want to die. No parent wants either, but one of those is preferable to the other. No parent should outlive their child, and we as a community have a duty to step up on behalf of the wider society to make a difference wherever we can. AFEM is enabling change. Change that means that every time an event takes place, that fans, employees, and artists can confirm that everything has been done to make sure that they are safe in sound. We are supporting lobbying groups to change the law, technology companies to improve the way individuals manage their behavior, and of course, to make sure that our members adopt the best new, freshest approaches to ensure everyone in our scene can be safe and healthy. This is a long campaign, it's a complicated campaign, and one which, as a community, we must be committed to. So please, if you are passionate about ensuring the long-term health of the scene and its fans, engage with us, support us, and join us so that we can continue to make a difference. Thank you.